Birmingham City remains up on the table over in League One after a good win, convincing win over the challengers. Lincoln City joining them in the top two is Hollywood FC. Will they both still be there at the end of this crazy week in League One? We'll get into that and much more next. <laughs> That's right, folks. Back once again on a production video today. We're talking about match day number 13. That's right, over in League One. And we'll get to it in a second. If you knew where you've been, smash your subscribe button. Your stop shop for League One is right here under one Ruski. That's right, as Birmingham try to open up a can of whoop ass on League One contenders. They've already got a five point gap with games in hand over the chasing pack over in League One. But will that be extended this weekend or this midweek in a double match week? We'll get into all of that and more in a second. If you knew where you've been, smash your subscribe and one stop shop for League One is right here under one Ruski, guys. We've got that. We've got League Two, Rovers, uh, EFL. We've got it all here under one Ruski. Busy all week this week. Uh, and of course, it could all change dramatically this, the places in the playoffs. We'll get into that just in around the corner. We're going to review the last games, which is, was this past weekend. Then we're going to kick on forward to the next game. So sit back, hold tight, and here we go. Alrighty then, guys, let's turn the clock back to this past weekend. I am recording this early bloody doors on a Sunday as we look forward to a busy um, week of action. Let's take a look at it. Shrewsbury did lose to Exeter City as predicted. 2 0 winners, though, for Exeter City. Reading took in, uh, taking the goals to Crawley. 4 1 winners over, uh, over them. At the Majeski, big win for them. Wickham uh, getting all three points against Peterborough. Has really, really make some ground on the challenging pack. And could this be the season that Wickham come back to the uh, the, the the championship? Blackpool, though, of course, a lot of uh, a lot of stuff involved with the with the with the management here, uh, affecting a lot of clubs up and around the AFL. Some tragic tragic news. Uh, and Blackpool were uh, part of that with uh, Steve Bruce taking. Uh, some leave of absence at the moment. And of course, Blackpool did, couldn't really respond to that. Uh, they did lose to Barnsley 2-1 in the end. Bolton, though, 2-1 winners over Burton uh, to continue their research. Cambridge did get the big win over Wigan, as predicted as well. Charlton could only muster a draw against Stockport County over at the Valley. Link, uh, Huddersfield uh, taking full advantage. 3-1 winners over Bristol Rovers. Lincoln got themselves a bit of a footballing lesson by Moneybags FC. That is Birmingham City. Mansfield again. No, they were challengers, but they got hit the skid somewhat against Steve. 1-0 win there on the road. Northampton and Leighton Orient uh, end up as a three-pointer for Northampton Town. And Rotherham, I don't even know what they are anymore. They lost to Wrexham 1-0 at home. So, uh, yeah, a bit of a, a bit of a shake-up in the old table. But uh, this is what it looks like right here, right now. As you see, it is Birmingham City, uh, as uh, anticipated, I believe. Uh, Wrexham up there alongside them, the closest challengers. But Birmingham do have a, a bit of a breathing space between themselves and Wickham Wanderers. Mansfield Town remain in the playoffs in fourth. Exeter up to fifth right now. And they could be the dark horses to also challenge uh, the big time as well. And Huddersfield are back in the mix as well. Uh, all the way down, though, it's Burton, Cambridge, Crawley and Shrewsbury at the moment in the drop zone with Orient and uh, Northampton Town. Ain't out the woods just yet. Uh, there was a bit of gap between themselves in the middle of the pack, uh, but it does look like it's going to be an exciting race despite Birmingham City's runaway lead at the top of the table. So that is that. Again, this is where I would usually look at your predictions and stuff like that and bring you an update, but we are on the road. We are kind of uh, going this uh, by the string of our teeth. Uh, it's quite hard to get these videos out when we're, we're in remote. Uh, so please just keep on predicting. We'll bring you a reboot or a sort of uh, 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 bring all the scores together when we come back to uh, to uh, Georgia, the swamp. Uh, anyway, we are here in Lancashire and we're going to keep on going to the next round of games. And again, because we're out and about, we're not going to do no, 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 no Google graphics. You don't get the pleasure of the Google graphics this time around. We're going to just, it's just my ugly face. And of course, my prediction. And we're going to start with a trip to Oakwell. That's right, Barnsley. I'm against Charlton coming at you this coming Tuesday. Barnsley under Daryl Clark find themselves in, uh, I think they are, whoa, that is eighth. It does say eighth. In the old graphic there, of course, 50% form for them right now. One, two, lost to and drawn to, but they do come into this on the back of a win. Up, up against Charlton and uh, Nathan Jones are all the way down to 12th right now after a bit of a bit of a mid or early season uh, 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 problems, of course, but back-to-back -back games without a loss now. Uh, they're in 12th for 17 points. They could leave Frog Barnsley in the process. Uh, they've played 26 times, these two clubs, since 1993. Eight was for Barnsley, nine for Charlton. There's been nine draws between the two sides with the most recent match being at uh, Charlton. It was a 2-1 win for them. The last time they played over at this very venue is a 1 1 draw back in December 2023. Charlton are unbeaten against Barnsley over the last three. In fact, they've only lost once against them in the last six. Uh, with Charlton, 
uh, coming into this, sorry, on the back of that draw against Stockport Barnsley, beating Blackpool uh, at uh, uh, this past weekend. The bookies on this one, though, Barnsley 5 to 4 for the victory, 2 to 5 is the draw. 21 to 10 is your Charlton Athletic. I think this is a tough one to call here. Yeah, it does, does feel tough. Uh, so I'm going to sit on the fence 1 1, which doesn't really do any favours for any of these two clubs as they're both trying to get into those playoffs. Next up, we have a Ding Dong Classic on a hand. It's Hot Shots Birmingham up against Resurgence Bolton. That's right, who want to reach, uh, uh, sort of right the wrong. That was, of course, the playoff final last time around. They expect they want to be in the championship, as do Birmingham. And maybe at the end of the season, they're both in the mixer there. But Birmingham coming in just on 83% for their round, and winning five of the last six. They are top of the charts with 25 points to the name. Up against Bolton, 58% form for their round, now just one defeat in the last five. Uh, they sit in 11th with 17 points for the name, but they are also on a good bit of an uptick. Upward trajectory, they say. 37 times they have played since 1993. 14 wins apiece and 9 draws with the last match. Being at Birmingham, it was a 1-0 win for Bolton, that's right. In fact, Bolton, back-to-back 1-0 wins over them at the last time that these two sides were in the same division, which was the championship. Uh, of course, Birmingham only winning once of the last four against them. But Birmingham, of course, picking up some good results with uh, uh, wins over Shrewsbury and Lincoln in all competitions, all venues. Bolton losing the Villa on penalties, but of course picking up that 2-1 win over uh, over Burton uh, over at uh, the, the Community Sheet Stadium. Uh, Bolton, though, on this one, 3-1 for the victory, 6-5 on is your Birmingham, 27-10 is the draw. Typically, I probably would be going against Birmingham on, the, on this one. It is at St. Andrews, though, so I'm anticipating maybe they're going to win this one. 3-1 win to maintain that number one status heading into another weekend, uh, uh, this coming weekend over in League One. Bristol Rovers next, taking on Shrewsbury Town at the Memorial Stadium. Bristol Rovers under Matthew Taylor currently found themselves all the way down to 18th with 13 points to the name. Up against Shrewsbury under Paul Hurst, 8 points to the name. They're 21st in the table, uh, but coming in just on the back of just one win in the last six matches. They have played 25 times since 2003. 10 wins for Bristol Rovers, 8 wins for Shrewsbury. Seven draws between the two sides, with the last match being at the Memorial. Nil nil it was back in April 2024. Bristol Rovers, back-to-back -back games unbeaten against Shrewsbury. Back-to-back -back clean sheets as well. Shrewsbury's last victory was at Shrewsbury back in May 2023, uh, of course. But uh, they come in to do the Shrews on the back of a 2 0 loss to Exeter. Bristol Rovers with a 3 1 loss to Huddersfield Town last time around. The bookies, though, for this one Bristol Rovers 11 10 for the victory, 12 5 the draw, 12 5 is your away win. Uh, it feels like a Bristol, Bristol Rovers victory here. Yeah, just about 1 0 win in, in my eyes. Uh, three points for them, and again, making making moves towards the low end of the table to get away from that drop zone, which, of course, Shrewsbury are well and truly in at the moment. Burton and Albion taking on Wickham Wanderers. That's right, coming up at the Pirelli this coming week, uh, midweek. Uh, now, Burton, 0% form for them right now. They are on a really bad bit of form. Nine games without a win. At least six games losing streak, 0%. They are rock bottom with just four points. Up against Wickham Wanderers, who are on completely contrasting form up there, all the way up into third. 75% form for them right now. Just one defeat, though, in the last six matches, of course. They played 18 times to 2010, eight wins apiece and two draws, with the last two matches being those two draws. That's right, one in Burton, one in Wickham uh, back in 2023 24 season. In fact, Burton are unbeaten against Wickham over the last three, uh, if you want to include those two draws as well. Burton did uh, lose to Bolton most recently, 2 1 this past weekend. Wickham back to back home wins. The last time they were on the road, they uh, only got a draw that was against Barnsley, which is, of course, a good result for them. The Buckies for this one, though, Burton are 29 to 10 for the victory, 27 to 17 on is your Wickham, they are overwhelming favourites. 13 to 5 is the draw. Yeah, I think I am going for Wickham on this one. Just about. 1 0 winners. Ain't going to be pretty, but just enough to get the three points and get maybe even close in on that top two uh, in their race to get back to the championship. Crawley Town up against Lincoln City. That's right. Coming at you this coming midweek uh, over at. <coughs> Crawley uh, Crawley coming at show without a win in the last 11 matches that's at least 6 games losing streak right now uh, they are 22nd in the table with 7 points in the name up against Lincoln and Michael Skibula they are 7th right now just outside the playoffs with 18 points uh, coming in just on the back of that defeat uh, against Birmingham City this past weekend kind of stumping their progression can they get back to winning ways and fast well I think this is a good game for them to get that uh, momentum back they played 4 times in 2017 however their record against Crawley isn't the best they've, uh, they've uh, played uh, 4 Crawley winning two, a one with Lincoln, and one draw between the two sides. But the most recent match at Crawley, I think it was in League Two, way back in March 2019, it was a 3-0 win for Lincoln. Of course, Crawley coming in, doesn't look like that 4-1 loss to Reading. Lincoln losing to Birmingham City this past weekend. Uh, the bookies for this one, Crawley 14-5 for the victory 2019. On is your Lincoln, they are favoured here uh, with the bookies. Going five to two for the draw. Uh, Got to back the Lincoln at the moment. They are, they are. If they're the, if I have to choose a team that I would like to see 
back in the well contending for the top two it would be Lincoln at the moment I think they were great last season they've been on an uptick of form right now and they're, they're still they're coming into this punching them over their weight somewhat uh, with the resources that they have but it'd be absolutely crazy to see them in the second tier of English football but going over a 2-1 win they should win this game get back to anyways and maybe get back into the playoffs once again Exeter City they are hot top of Trot, another team that I'd like to see do very very well up against Reading who are doing alright right now under limited fundage limited resources of course coming out over in Exeter this coming midweek uh, they played four times in 2014 one with for Exeter three wins for, uh, for Reading zero draws mm, could this be the first uh, anyway Exeter of course really good right now fifth at the table 19 points to the name five wins the last six they're in 92% form for them right now Reading winning three of the last four 50% form though over the last six they find themselves in uh, 13 with 16 points to the name they could actually have the same amount of points as Exeter if they were to win this game uh, of course last time I played each other over at Exeter I don't think this is a typo but I do see a 9-0 victory for Reading. That was in the Football League Trophy South back in September 2013. That was the last time they played in that extra. So uh, to come back to this venue, will the Exeter fans be there? Will they hope to uh, see better times? Um, anyway, Exeter on the back of a 2-0 win over Shrewsbury. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. At least, at least six clean sheets on the road. Up against a Reading side. Uh, put 4-1 uh, uh, result against Crawley most recently. Their last away match, though, was a loss against Rotherham. Uh, Exeter look good right now. The bookies also think that. 27-20 uh, is the victory. 90-10 is the Reading. 12-5 is the draw. It does feel a little bit undecided on the bookies, but I'm going to back the form team at the moment. That is Exeter. And they could make a push for the top two very, very soon. So good win that would be for them uh, against a tricky Reading side with, despite limited funds, Ain't too bad, are they, in this league at the moment? Leighton Orient next. Uh, up against Rotherham United over at Brisbane Road. Richie Wellens' boys are in 20th right now. Uh, not great, just one win in the last six matches. Up against Rotherham, who are into uh, 16 for the table, 14 points to the name. Uh, back to back games now without a win. They're 67% form. And they played five times these two clubs since 2006. One win for uh, Leighton Orient, three wins for Rotherham. There's been one draw between two sides. Uh, the last time they played was in the League One playoff back in May 2014. It's a long, long time ago. That went in favour of Rotherham. The last time they played over at Brisbane Road it was back in uh, 2013 season. Later on, coming out on top with a 1 0 win. The Orient did lose to Northampton most recently. Rotherham picking up a loss also against Wrexham, and that was at their own gaff there. The bookies on this one uh, the Orient 70 to 10 for the victory, 11 to 5 for the draw, 13 to 13 to 8 is your Rotherham, who should win this game. They should. Uh, just, I've just got them over the line. Uh, they've got the talent, they've got the, they've got the manager, they've got the tactics, but uh, yeah, it's going to be tricky. It's not going to be one for the, for the, for the, for the memory, the, the memory book there. But uh, yeah, one year winners, Rotherham taking the three points, and again, getting themselves hopefully back on track for at least a playoff push. Next up is another tricky one. It's Peterborough up against Blackpool coming at you over at uh, Peterborough. Darren, uh, Darren Ferguson's posh, 40% form for them right now. Not doing great this season thus far. Maybe they'll come a little bit later on. But they're all the way down to 15th with just 15 points. And then just one defeat in the last four up against the Blackpool side under Steve Bruce have also kind of hit a right old rough patch with that win in the last three. They're on 58% form for them. Now these two clubs have played 26 times since 2002. 10 wins for the Posh, 13 wins for the Tangerines. There's been three draws, of course. Last time around, though, over at Posh, it was a 2-1 win for Blackpool back in February 2024. That was in League One. Uh, the Wayside has won the last three matches between these two sides. Um, uh, Wickham, though, on the back of, uh, sorry, Peterborough losing to Wickham most recently. Blackpool losing to uh, Barnsley this weekend. Uh, so not great form for either of the two sides. The Bookies, 13-8 for Peterborough, 29-20. Is your Blackpool, 13-5 is the draw. Um, yeah, I don't know. I really don't know. It's hopefully it's going to be something like that. Goal fest, one for the one for the ages, maybe. But uh, yeah, at the moment I can't separate two sides. Two teams down in their luck. Good coaches, good foundations uh, of a club. Uh, but right now, going for a bit of a wobble this uh, this current season. Stevenage up in action up against a Cambridge United side who recorded their first win and I don't even know when uh, this past week probably the first win all season I think uh, Stevenage and Alex Ravel are 58% form for them right now sitting in 10th 17 points to them up against Cambridge and Gary Monk uh, who picked up their first win uh, in uh, all season long 29 times these two clubs have played since 2005 14 wins for Stevenage 11 wins for Cambridge there's been 4 draws between the two sides with the most recent match being at Stevenage a 1-0 win for Stevenage way back in February 2024 uh, uh, Stevenage have won six on the bounce against Cambridge and they'll fancy their chances this time around. They're coming into this on the back of that 1-0 win of a high-flying Mansfield. Cambridge, though, pick up a good 2-0 win of a Wigan. One which I kind of predicted as well, which, of course, is is, uh, is uh, one for the bragging rights. Uh, the odds on this one, 13-20. Uh, uh, Stevenage are favoured here. 
Uh, 14 to 5 is the draw. 4 to 1 is your away win. That is, of course, Cambridge United. Going to go with a 1 0 win for Stevenage here against, of course, uh, uh, a Cambridge side who did pick up their first win. Of course, I love to see momentum kick in and get Cambridge uh, fighting and maybe even get something out of this game. It could be. It could be a draw here, but uh, I think Stevenage will have just too much quality in the end. 1 0 winners at their own place. Next up, you see it on the screen. I've, I've clicked a bit too much here. And that's, that's the problem with recording on the road. You, you're one mistake and you screw yourself over. Anyway, Stockport County up against Northampton Town. Coming at Stockport. Dave Challenge's boys are all the way up to ninth at the table. 17 points to them. Unbeaten in the last four games. However, drawn three of those last four. Up against Northampton Town under John Brady. A resurgent mo a moment of the season. 50% form for them right now. on um, Back-to-back wins. Now, they have played 10 times since 2002. Four wins apiece and two draws. Stockport, though, picking up a 2-0 win last time around over at this very venue back in January 2023 that was in League 2 Stockport though successive draws drawing with Wigan and then Charlton uh, with the last defeat being that against Leighton Orange at this very venue Northampton Town uh, on back-to-back -back wins back-to-back -back clean sheets beating Knox County and also beating the Orient uh, with their last defeat uh, on the road against Wrexham. The odds on this one, of course, we're looking at Stockport 15 to 8 on the overwhelming favours. 29 to 10 is the draw. 21 to 4 is your away win. I've on the screen here, guys. No, no, no shame. Going to go with a Stockport victory. 3 1 win uh, to get back to winning ways and dent Northampton's uh, up to in form. Next up, we've got Wigan up against Mansfield Town. That's right now, for whatever reason, I don't see it on my little hit sheet here. So I don't know if this game is going to go ahead, uh, but we're going to talk about it just in case it does. Uh, so coming out at the DW, whatever they call it these days, Stadium, Wigan, 70% uh, form for them. And I just want to beat the last six up against Mansfield Town, who are fourth in the table, 20 points to the name, 67% form for them. And I just want to beat in the last five. Now, they played once since 2003. It was a win for Wigan, uh, and that was back in 2003. It came out on top of the Wigan. 2-1 win over Mansfield way back in League 1. Wigan on the back of a 2-0 loss to Cambridge. Of course, Mansfield losing also to Mansfield. I don't have any odds. I don't know what's going on with this game. So it was a bit of a bit of a crazy one. Not too sure about it. Uh, but if it does go ahead, I'm going to lean towards the Wigan victory on this one, which make it back-to-back -back defeats for Mansfield, denting their high-flying ambitions for the automatics and even the playoffs. So 2-1 win for me for Wigan on this one, if it goes ahead or not. And then finally, probably one of the games of the week this week. Uh, Wrexham up against Huddersfield Town. Come out to over at Wales. That's right, the race course stadium. Wrexham under Phil Parkinson sits second, 23 points to the name, just one defeat in the last six. Up against Huddersfield under Michael Duff. Three wins on the bounce for them in all competitions and all venues. They find themselves in sixth. Now, they played three times to 2004. One win for Wrexham, two for Huddersfield. There's been no draws, with the last match being, I think it was a friendly, but the last competitive game in Wales. It was a one win for Huddersfield way back in May 20, 2005. Wrexham on the back of a one win over Rotherham. They also beat Wolves in the league trophy and then Northampton Town most recently. Huddersfield on the back of three successive home wins. The last time they played on the road, though, they did lose to Birmingham City. The bookies odds on Aziz Fan. We will see it as probably going in favour of Wrexham. 27 to 20, 15 to 8 is your Huddersfield. 5 to 2 is the draw. It does feel like it could be a draw uh, on this one. I wouldn't be a... Yeah, it does feel like it could have been a draw, but I'm going to go with Wrexham to take all three points. That's right. In a busy week, of course, double match week, of course, that completes my picks for the, the Tuesday games. Again, use the link for the Prediction League. Uh, is wide open open of course over there uh, and that should do just about it guys we'll be back for the next round of games now the next ones will be a little bit jiggery pokery because I'm going to be doing them on a boat uh, and I don't know how good or bad that will be uh, so please forgive me if it's a little bit shitty um, but uh, and hope, or late it could even be late but anyway get in amongst it get predicting and of course we'll see you for the next one subscribe smash the like catch you later until then we're done